Today, I'm gonna to show you how to spot a red flag when it comes to a project. Specifically, I'm gonna be referring to hop.ag, which is a SUI aggregator. Firstly, I'm gonna explain what an aggregator is, and then I'm gonna show you hop, and hopefully in the future, they start building again. And if not, you at least know what you have to do in order to work out if something has potential or no potential, if you should use it or not use it. So here we are at jupe.ag. This is a Solana dApp, and this is an aggregator. An aggregator means it goes to all different sources to take all the liquidity routes and prices, pulls it all to one different source, and then it uses this UI, this user interface, to interact with those smart contracts in order to get the best swap possible. If you take the word aggregate, that just means the whole of something overall. So as an example, $10,000 into this amount of soul, this is what it would look like. And if we went to just say something like Orca or Radium, or another dApp, maybe we wouldn't get the best price, but by seeing them all, it's kind of like going to the supermarket and going to every single supermarket to find out the best price, only we could just do that from one place. If you've been on EVMs, then one inch is the equivalent aggregator over there. On Sui, they have hop.ag. Now, this has two functions, a swap function, and it also has a mean coin generation device like pump.fun on Solana as well. This is not actively used, uh, although it has been used within the last couple of days. However, there is a big problem with swap, and I just want to point out what you will need to look for before you do anything. So as an example, I wanted to take my blue, and I wanted to swap it all for Sui. And I wanted to do this because the markets have been going down significantly, and I feel it's safer to hold it in Sui. And what we can see here is this huge amount of blue it's being priced at $2,134 and it's going to be traded into $2,400. So somehow I'm making $300. If I click the trade, we can see that it's not actually going to go through. It's taking a SUI gas fee, but that is all. So what you'd probably do in this situation is you go for something smaller and you can still see it's wrong. So then you try a different pair. Maybe there's been a mispricing on the API. You take your USDC and you buy SUI. On this occasion, the UI says 1.95. Even if we refresh it, it's showing $9 into $7. $2 worth of fees is crazy. Then when we go to swap, it's $2.54, but the UI is not helping us out. So whenever you see something like that, this is more putting attention on to make sure you're getting what you expect to be getting in the UI here. And then when you click trade, you want to see that match up. This doesn't match up. Therefore, this is a red flag. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll go to Twitter. If we go to Twitter, we can see they have the gold verification badge, which is a good thing. This means, of course, that they're paying like $2,000 or something to Twitter each month just to have this. And then it's all kind of laid out nicely. They've got a telegram. But then when we go down further, we've got a pin tweet. That's fine. But then we have no other tweets within the last six weeks. Nothing. And if we come at the top, we can click on replies and see if they've been replying more recently. And on this occasion, nothing. Nothing has been mentioned. There's other things we can do to work out if something's not going correctly, but either way, it looks as though they have shut this project down in some form. I joined the Telegram as well, and there's no information there. So what I'm trying to point out is when you see anything that looks to be off, check Twitter. Check Twitter, see if they're current, make sure you only do a small swap. And then the other thing that I haven't taught thus far in this tutorial series is if you are having doubts about a dApp, or if it's the first time using a dApp, don't use your main wallet, use a smaller wallet. So in our case, we would come up here and we actually have another wallet. So we can just click switch and click on this one. If you don't have a second wallet yet, just click manage and then click new. This will create a new wallet. Now the UI is not perfect in this wallet, but nevertheless, we know that this is our main one and we know that this one here is our, our new one. So we click on that, we copy the address, we wait for this to go, we close it, we switch back to our main one, and we send nothing crazy, maybe like one SUI to the address. One SUI currently is under $4, review and send now. Then we go back to home, we switch to this new address, we can see it has one SUI, then we come up here, we go ahead and we disconnect, then we connect the wallet again, SUI, and now we're connecting this new wallet. That way, if we sign a transaction that doesn't do as we're expecting, then it doesn't really matter because it's only going to affect 
one sui. We're going to lose maximum one sui. Then we could come here. We could do this if we wanted to turn 72 cents into $1. The transaction will not uh, actually go through. It will fail as we can see, but at least we can try it with a wallet and not actually connect our main wallet to a DAP. Once we know that something is trusted, it works well, it's safe, then it's more common that someone's going to use their main wallet. In general, wallet security and wallet operational tips, that's probably a subject for another video. But all I need to cover for this video is just to point out that this is not working and how to work out if something looks a little bit off, like maybe the team has stopped working on something. That's all for this video. Catch you in the next one. Whoa.